Hello, my name is Eric. It's approximately 4.30 on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I'd like to bring you up to date on our thinking related to the winter storm moving through the area tonight and tomorrow. Uh, the four key concerns related to the strong, source, the strong storm system moving through, a uh, period of winter precipitation early tomorrow, heavy snow or ice possibly for a couple hours, mainly north toward the Wisconsin line. As we get later on into the morning, the key concern would be heavy rainfall. Uh, this would be uh, enough to produce some ponding and some standing water across the area, especially uh, with the snowpack that is going to absorb some of it, but the frozen ground is going to prevent much from being absorbed. So any water that falls is pretty much going to stay where it lands. As we get later on into the afternoon, that uh, warm, moist air moving in will uh, do two things. Number one, help the snow continue to melt, and number two, possibly produce some dense fog in some locations. And then tomorrow night, a strong cold front coming through is going to leave a strong and possibly damaging winds in its wake. So uh, that will be tomorrow evening into the overnight hours. There could be a period tomorrow morning where uh, visibilities are reduced and hazardous travel is uh, likely with the combination of the snow and the ice, maybe even a little bit of freezing rain. As we get later on in the morning, uh, the heavy rain becomes a primary concern and this would be over the central portion of the area where we expect rainfall amounts during the day of one inches enough to produce ponding and flooding not necessarily raging rivers but the water just is not going to have anywhere to go uh, storm drains are going to be clogged with ice and snow so um, it could definitely be some travel problems and local standing water later on in the afternoon as the warm humid air moves over the area uh, rapid snow melt continues and possible dense fog develops this is primarily southeast of a line from Chicago to Ottawa where the warmest temperatures and the most humid air is going to be located. And as we get on into the evening, uh, winds gusting to 45, 40 to 50 miles per hour behind the front could possibly create some damage to um, small limbs, uh, objects that are not secure, that are lightweight, and also high profile vehicles could be uh, blown around on the roads. The uh, flood watch that we have in effect is for late tonight into Thursday morning. This would be most of the area, not including the counties along the Wisconsin line. Uh, again, this is for the, the heavy rain and the, um, the melting and the snowpack. Additional concerns include both uh, scattered thunderstorms tonight and Thursday afternoon. Uh, the severe threat is looking to be more to the south and east at this time, but we still could see some small hail and strong winds locally, and uh, thunderstorms also could produce areas of locally heavier rain. We're not too concerned about rising river levels at this point. Uh, the river levels would come up Friday into Saturday, a little bit after the rainfall event, but um, at this time there are no river flood watches or warnings currently in effect. We're not quite sure how the, uh, the rainfall is going to be absorbed by the snowpack and how quickly it's going to erode. And we also think that uh, Thursday night into Friday, the freezing temperatures will help slow that process a little bit. Looking at a bigger picture, uh, Chicago is basically in the transition zone. It's springtime to the southeast and it's wintertime to our northwest. Uh, blizzard warnings and winter storm warnings across Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin, and severe thunderstorms possible from the Ohio Valley into the Gulf Coast. Again, my name is Eric. It's Wednesday afternoon about 4.30. Keep watching weather.gov slash Chicago, our website, as well as our social media feeds for additional information as it becomes available uh, this evening and overnight.